and welcome back to our yoga and the Enneagram series. Today we're going to be doing a practice revolving around number four. So fours are known as the romantics or the um, individualists. They're very, very creative. They tend to be highly sensitive, very aware of the range of many emotions that a human can have. They seek um, beauty and harmony. They want authenticity. They want people to be individuals and for others to recognize and admire their own individualism or creativity. If you ever hear a song or read a poem that kind of just hurts your heart because it's so beautiful and sorrowful at the same time, probably a four created that. Um, they they love things that are bittersweet or um, melancholic so they can kind of get in their own heads and their own fantasies a little too much um, <clears throat> and in that they might either jeopardize relationships or have very high and low relationships um, yeah so what you need you don't actually need anything for this class a block might be helpful if you're a little bit tight in your hamstrings. Um, so we're going to be doing some poses that are basic because fours fear conventional, ordinary, basic things. Um, so we'll spend a few breaths in those basic poses and then we'll create an opportunity for you fours or whoever's practicing to find some creativity, some movement in your body, in your spine. So for each of these poses, we'll start with stillness, and then we might move into um, extend, extension and flexion, some side bending, and then some twisting. Um, so that should bring some balance to the pose and just a little opportunity for creativity. And then at the end, we have a little surprise. Um, and I wanted to just read this real quick. Um, when fours are moving towards growth or wholeness, they have a deep knowing that their mess messy exaggerations of their longings need boundaries to be healthy, and that structure can be a container of self-discovery just as ambiguity is. So we're going to create that structure and then have some self-discovery within it. So we will start in Vajrasana. So come onto your shins, resting on your knees, glutes on the heels here. Hands rest on the thigh, close your eyes, and just find a few still breaths here. Resist the urge to find micro movements just yet, because we'll get into that. But when we get into a pose, I just want you to find stillness and settle into it. And on an inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. On an exhale, round the spine, curl the arms forward. Inhale, extend the spine, lift the chest. Exhale, round. One more. Inhale, up. And exhale, round. Feel free to do whatever the heck you want with your hands. I'm not the most artistic flowy person, but this is a perfect opportunity for that, so do whatever you wish. Um, on an inhale, we'll bring the right hand to the right side of your hips, sweep the left arm up and over for a side bend. And exhale, come back to center, inhale over to the left, feeling a stretch in the right side body. Exhale, center, two more on each side. Inhale over to the right. Keep both hips grounded on the heels. Into center. Inhale to the left. And back to center. From here, we're going to move into twisting. So put your left hand on the outside of your right thigh and twist the right arm open. Exhale, we'll switch sides. Right hand to outside of left thigh. Two more with your breath. Inhale, 
Inhale, chest opens to the right. Spine stays tall. Exhale, center. And one more open to the left. Good. Come forward into tabletop position. Hands stacked under the shoulders, knees stacked under the hips. And from here, we'll just find some stillness again. Creating a long spine from your crown to your tailbone. Pulling the shoulder blades back and down. Finding weight in each of your fingertips and your knuckles and your palms. And then on an inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest, cow pose. Exhale, round the spine, tuck in. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat pose, forehead to tailbone. One more, inhale the cow. Pull the heart through the shoulders and exhale round. Navel into spine. We'll move into a side bend. So move those hands over to the right side of the mat. Hips stay high. And you're just gonna breathe into the left side ribs. And let that left hand reach out even further, feeling a stretch on the left armpit, the left lats. And come back, we'll move over to the other side. So hands walk over to the left side of the mat. Stretch that right hand out even further. Keep the hips high and pointing to the right. One more deep breath. Exhale. Come back to center and we'll find our twist. So on an inhale, reach the right arm up to the sky and exhale. Thread it through behind the left arm. Two more. Inhale, expand. Exhale, twist. You can find a little bend in your left elbow to make more room. Good, we'll switch sides. Come back to center on an inhale, left arm sweeps up to the sky. Exhale, thread it behind the right arm. And let your spine move with this. It doesn't have to be so stiff. One more with your breath. Exhale. Thread it through. We're going to move into gate pose. So from tabletop, shift your left foot out to the side like a kickstand. As the right, as the hips open up to the right and the right foot plants on the mat. So this is it's kind of like a side plank with the bottom knee dropped. So spend a few breaths just to find your shape, to settle into it. Right shoulder blade draws down the back. Feel length along the right hip and the right obliques. So move into that flexion and extension. So you'll Draw like a semicircle backwards with the right toes as the right arm reaches back, draws a line along the wall, and then exhale, move it forward. So you're moving in this circular motion, which is actually moving your spine in a flex and extended position. One more with the breath. Trace a circle on the ground and on the wall. Exhale, curl in. From here, inhale back up. On an exhale, you'll crunch the right knee to right elbow. And then on an inhale, you'll stretch it long overhead. Exhale, crunch it in. Exhale, stretch it long overhead. Inhale in. Exhale, expand through the side body. And one more here. Reach the right arm up on an inhale, 
On an exhale, we'll rotate under and thread the arm through again. Inhale, expand and straighten. Exhale, twist through the spine. Right hand towards left foot. One more with your breath. Good, come back to tabletop and we'll switch sides. Right foot kicks hands out to the right. Left leg straightens, hips open up to the left. And just find stillness here. Expand through the chest, collarbone is long and open. And then on an inhale, Trace the, those left toes and left fingertips back. On an inhale, trace them forward. On an exhale, sorry. Inhale back. Exhale, come forward. One more with your breath. On an inhale, come back to center. On an exhale, crunch left knee to left elbow. Inhale, expand, long left arm overhead. Exhale, crunch in, contracting the left side body. Inhale, left, left arm straightens overhead. One more. Feel expansion here. On an inhale, reach those left arm, that left hand up again. Exhale, twist it through and under. One more with your breath. Exhale, twist under. Good, find your tabletop neutral position again. We're gonna come into a high cobra. So scoot the knees back, slowly lower the pelvis down. Shoulder blades roll down your back. Find a grip with your hand or you can come up onto fingertips. Inner thighs rotate up towards the ceiling. If you feel a pinch in your low back, just come down to low cobra. Whatever is comfortable for you. We'll move with the breath through the spine again. So inhale, push even higher, lift the chest up. Exhale, drop down, elbows bend down to the side. Inhale, push through the hands, extend the spine, chin lifts. Exhale, drop the belly, drop the chest, drop the chin. One more. On an inhale, lift up again. On an exhale, roll onto the left hip and look behind you to the right. We'll spend a few breaths in this side stretch, side bending position. Shoulder can creep up to the ear or you can push down. Good, roll back to center and over onto the right hip. Weight through the right hand Look back to the left. Legs are stacked on top of each other. Left hand is out in front for some light support. Feel a nice stretch along the front and side of the right hip. Come back to center. From here we'll do some twisting. So push through the hands Tent up onto fingertips, elbows wide. Exhale, drop the left shoulder down to the center. Look to the right. Inhale, up. Exhale, right shoulder drops. Look over to the left. Feet and legs are staying firm. Rotate those inner hips towards the ceiling. Inhale, center. Exhale, right shoulder drops. One more with your breath.
Good. Tuck your toes under, weight through both hands, push up through a plank, and step forward to the top of your mat. Inhale, roll the spine up slowly, and find your way into Tadasana. Root through all toes, the heels, the pads of your feet. Elbows rotate forward, shoulder blades drop down the back. Find a very slight tuck of your tailbone so you're not arching through your back. Find presentness in the ordinary. Be okay with that before we move on to some creativity. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, round the arms forward. Or you can do cactus by bending your elbows to a 90 degree, puffing the chest up. Exhale, round forward. One more time. Inhale, extend, push the hips forward, arch through the spine, and exhale, round and curl. Drop the right arm down the side of the right thigh. On an inhale, reach the left arm up tall. Exhale, side bend over to the right. Find equal weight in both feet here. Breathe into the left side ribs. Rotate the chest up and open. One more breath. Inhale back to center. Exhale, release. Inhale, right arm lifts up. On an exhale, drop the left hand down the left outer thigh. Side bend to the left. Keep equal weight through the feet. Rotate the chest open. See if you can find length before you find bending over. And back to center. Let's scoot over for this one. Hands out to the side. On an inhale, find length in your spine. On an exhale, actively twist the torso to the right. Inhale, center, actively twist the torso over to the left. Inhale, center, exhale to the right. Your hips and your torso, your hips and your shoulders are moving in opposite directions. So here my shoulders are moving open to the left and my hips are staying grounded, rotated to the right. One more with your breath. your way back to the front of your mat and hands at heart center forward fold just find stillness here bend your knees as much as you need hands can grasp opposite elbows fingertips to the mat or to the shins, straight spine halfway lift. Exhale, fold deeper. Inhale, lift up, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, fingertips to shins, straight spine. Exhale, round and fold deeper. Move your hands over to the outside of your right foot. Right fingertips can move underneath the outer right foot. And just find a little side stretch along the left side body. Good, walk those hands 
hands over, right fingertips rest underneath the outer left hand or left foot. Come back to center, plant the left hand on an inhale. You'll bend the left knee and sweep the right arm up to the sky. Exhale, back to center, inhale, bend the right knee, right hand plants, left hand reaches up. Finding a twist through the torso and a big stretch along the outer hamstring. Exhale, center, two more on each side with your breath. Inhale to expand the arm up, broaden through the collarbone. Exhale to center. Bend that opposite knee as much as you need. Last time on each side. Find whatever dancing movements with your hands, with your arms, with your spine and hips. There's room for originality too. In your own time, plant your hands and step back into downward dog. If your heels don't touch, if your knees don't straighten, that's okay, but just find a still shape here. Rotating the elbow pits forward, moving the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, you lift both heels, roll the spine halfway forward into this rounded position. On an exhale, bend the knees, let the hips lead the way back, extend arc through the spine. Inhale, round halfway forward. Exhale, bend the knees, let the hips lead the way. Find a bit of a curve in your low back. One more time. On your next inhale, you'll bend your left knee, open up the hips slightly to the right, tent up onto the right fingertips. Feeling a big stretch along the right lats, the right side body, the right hip. Inhale. Back to center, exhale, settle. Inhale, bend the right knee. Open up to the left a little bit and tent onto left fingertips. Try to create a rainbow shape with your left side body. Back to center, widen your feet. One footprint out to the side. And then left hand moves to outer right foot, ankle, shin, knee, whatever you need. Twist the torso open to the right. Back to center and then exhale right hand to the outside of the left leg. Peek underneath that left armpit. You can use your hand as leverage to twist deeper if you want. Good, back to center. Step the right foot forward in between the hands and lower the left knee down for a low lunge. Untuck the left toes. Let or both hands come up under the top of the right thigh. But just find a few breaths. Sink into it to find stillness. On your next inhale, cactus the arms out to the side. 
Really pull that tailbone forward and underneath you. And then on an exhale, curl the spine. Inhale, cactus arm, drop the hips lower. Exhale, you'll back out of the lunge a little bit as you round forward. One more. And then rest the right hand on the outer right thigh as the left arm sweeps up and over to the right. Find whatever micro movements, whatever angle feels best here. You might feel a difference if you lean into the lunge more. And then left hand comes to outer right knee as the right arm sweeps open. Chest faces the right side of the mat. Again, do whatever feels good here. And then you'll come into a half split so you can plant the hands briefly. Scoot that left knee back slightly and then straighten through the right leg as you shift your hips back. Keep a very slight bend in that right knee just to protect it. And then inhale, straighten the spine like you're halfway lift. Exhale, fold deeper. forward, exhale down, one more with your breath, walk the hands over to the outside of the right foot, if you need a block here, this would be a good time to use it. So we want to feel a stretch in the hips and not just through the spine, through the low back rounding. So try to find a happy medium. Pull those right toes up towards your face. And then we'll move with the breath. Plant the left hand. Inhale, twist open to the right. Exhale, plant the right hand, twist open to the left. You might need to widen your stance a little bit here, so bring the right heel out to the outer side of the mat. Good. Plant both hands at the top of the mat. Step back briefly into downward facing dog. And then left foot comes forward between the hands, lower the right knee for a low lunge. Untuck the toes and find a still shape. Inhale, arms cactus out to the side. Exhale, round forward, come out of your lunge a little bit. Inhale, sink the hips down. Exhale, round forward and energetically pull your left heel and your right knee towards each other. One more. Good. From here, left hand comes onto the le outer left hip. Right hand reaches up and over to the left. hand to the outside of the left knee, twist the left arm open to the side. You'll shift back into your half splits. So left heel wiggles forward, hips shift back, drape your body over your left leg. 
on an inhale, halfway lift, straight spine, exhale, fold, inhale, halfway lift, crown of the head reaches forward, exhale, drop in, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, deepen through the left hamstring. Walk the hands over to the outside of the left foot, feeling a nice stretch along the right side body. And then widen your stance, bring your left heel out to the side, plant the right hand, inhale, left arm sweeps up. Exhale down, inhale, right arm sweeps up. Find whatever movement feels good here. Twisting through the spine, shifting the hips side to side. Right hand plants, left hand lifts. And one more opening, open to the right side. Good. From here, instead of going back to down dog, we'll step forward. <clears throat> Both feet to the top of the mat, hip widths apart. Knees stay bent, hips drift back, arms sweep up for chair pose. Firm through the inner thigh, through the outer hips. Navel draws in towards the spine. Shoulders stay lifted. On an inhale, cactus your arms come up onto the toes. If you lose your balance, it's okay. Exhale around and curl in. Inhale to extend, lengthen. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, elevated chair. Exhale, round in and fold. Good, we'll skip the side bend, but come back into your chair and we're gonna twist over to the right. So hands at heart center, left elbow hooks on the outside of the right knee. The tendency is for that left uh, knee to shift forward, the right hip to shift back. So just take a peek and try to neutralize them. Good, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, hands at heart center, twist open to the left. One more good breath here, and then fold in. Regather, recenter your energy, and then we'll step the right foot back into warrior one. So toes are angled out at 45 degrees, left knee is stacked over left ankle hips are neutral so rotate that right hip forward to face the top of the mat so if that means that you have to come out of it and be up here that's okay find whatever you need inhale hands clasp behind you expand the chest drop the arms back exhale we'll find humble warrior so torso shoulders drop on the inside of the left knee Inhale up, warrior one, exhale down to humble warrior. Hands can move further behind your head as your shoulders become more open. Find whatever spinal undulations feel good here. Last humble warrior, and then right toes will rotate out, arms cartwheel open into warrior two. So this time, hips are opening to the right side of the mat, but your gaze is forward. Arms are extended long. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Right arm sweeps down the right leg. Left arm up overhead. Exhale to side angle. Left elbow plants. Right arm overhead. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. One more. Good. Rotate onto the ball of the right foot. 
and then arm sweep up into high lunge. I know that left quad is burning. We're almost done. Hands up, heart center. Twist open to the left. High lunge with a twist. Keep the left knee stacked over the left ankle. Good. Come back into a forward fold. Give that left quad a little break. And then you'll step the left foot back, angle it at 45 degrees, come into your warrior one with hips neutral and hands clasped behind your back. Inhale, extend. Exhale, drop in for humble warrior. Inhale up, arch through the spine. Exhale, body becomes heavy and drops in. One more. And exhale, fold. From here, left toes rotate parallel to the short edge of the mat. Arms cartwheel up into a warrior two. On an inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Find some fluidity here. If you want, you can straighten the right knee from time to time. Last one with your breath. Right elbow rests on right knee. And then briefly plant the left fingertips. Come onto the ball of the left foot. Arms sweep up into high lunge on an inhale and then exhale, lunge with a twist, open to the right. Left elbow hooking on the outside of the right knee. Good. Hands plant, come into a forward fold. Get a little shake out. So now here comes the fun and creative and weird part. You are going to blast in headphones or speaker or whatever your favorite song right now. So due to copyright reasons, you won't be hearing what I'm hearing and you'll just see me dancing and moving like a crazy person. Um, or hopefully you're not watching me and you're doing your own thing. But this can be a combo of yoga, of dance, of animal flow. Just find whatever your body is telling you to do, whatever your emotions and feelings are telling you to do whatever feels good um, and just kind of lose yourself in whatever song you're listening to. So I'll see you back here in about three minutes or so. probably looked really weird, probably don't care. Um, I hope you felt beautiful and free and just um, were able to express yourself through movement. But we'll start slowing down now. So you'll come down into a seated position, legs stretched out in front of you, 
lengthen through your spine on an inhale. And then exhale, just find a seated forward fold. You can use a pillow or bolster underneath your legs. You can bend your knees. Just feel the heart rate start to slow after that maybe faster paced movement. So we got the body nice and warmed up through those more traditional postures, but then the little movements within them allowed us to find more flexibility and ranges of motion and just readied us for the song, the dance, whatever movement you found there. As you loosen up, you can straighten into your knees more, drape the body forward. And then you're gonna roll your spine all the way down onto your mat. And we're gonna come into fish pose. So elbows plant underneath your shoulders. I like to tuck my hands underneath my booty. And then you're gonna expand through the chest. Drop your head back. Your legs stay long, stretch out in front of you. You can also do this by coming all the way onto your arms instead of your elbows. Whatever way is comfortable for you to find this extended posture, this expansion through your chest. Just finding a few moments to smile and revel in what you just did. Finding some beauty in what would otherwise seem maybe ordinary. And then we're gonna release your hands, come into banana pose. So shift your hips over to the right side of the mat. Legs come over to the left and arms come over to the left. So you're creating this banana shape with your body. The right leg can stack on top of the left and left hand can grasp right wrist. So as much as your hips are pointing to the right, your limbs are pointing to the left. Send breath into the right obliques, the right hip, the right shoulder. breath here and then we'll switch sides so shimmy those hips over to the left and then arms and legs come to the right corners of the mat left foot stacks on right ankle right hand grasps left wrist or not you can relax into it more So with the hips already stacked to the left, you're just gonna straighten out your upper body, but bring your left knee, bend it up, and twist it over to the right side. Left shoulder blade stays grounded, open up through the chest and gaze to the left for a supine twist. Big release, undo the left leg, shift the hips over slightly to the right, and then right knee bends up and over to the left. Your left hand can clasp the knee. Right fingertips splay out to the side. If 
your knee doesn't touch because your shoulder is grounded, that's okay. Find length on the inhale. And twist deeper on an exhale. One more breath here. And then unravel. I want you to find whatever final resting pose is comfortable, whether that's Shavasana, child's pose, laying on your side, or you can stay in your twists. Gather your breath in. Take a few more moments there. I'm going to read a quote by Shana Nyquist, Shauna Nyquist, that hopefully resonates with some of you force. It says, present is living with your feet firmly grounded in reality, pale and uncertain as it may seem. Present is choosing to believe that your own life is worth investing deeply in, instead of waiting for some rare miracle or fairy tale. Present means we understand that the here and now is sacred, sacramental, threaded through with divinity, even in its plainness, especially in its plainness. So take a few breaths to reflect on that quote. I hope this practice today um, gave you a little bit of structure, a little bit of boundaries to keep you grounded and rooted and balanced. Um, and that within that you were able to find, find some flow, find some personalization, some creativity, um, and I hope you know that life is full of super extraordinary things, but also some really ordinary things, and both are important, both deserve your attention, um, and that people deserve your love and affection, even if they maybe don't carry the most grandiose thoughts like you do. Um, but just try to invest in what is here now and the people you are with now. So thank you so much for practicing with me today. Have a good day. Namaste.